Hello everyone, it's another unscheduled video. Earlier this week, my teacher colleagues and I participated in a workshop about ekphrastic poetry, which is poetry written in response to a piece of art, typically painting or sculptures. The word ekphrastic has its roots in the Greek and is a term for writing about art. During the course of the workshop, the presenter displayed this painting, titled Landscape with the Fall of Icarus and told us to look at it for a moment and take note of anything that stood out to us. She then proceeded to read two ekphrastic poems that were written in response to this painting. W. H. Auden, the first poet, dug deep down into the concept of suffering, while the second poet, William Carlos Williams, addressed the season and the setting. I've never been a fan of art or art history, but in looking at this painting and hearing the discussion my fellow teachers engaged in after the recitation of the poems, I found myself aligning with the first few lines of Auden's poem, which read, About suffering, they were never wrong, the old masters, how well they understood its human position, how it takes place while someone else is eating, or opening a window, or just walking dully along. We as a culture have become numb to much of the suffering that continues to plague our world, be it refugees struggling to live, massive flooding along the East Coast, or catastrophic wildfires in the West. So much suffering happens, yet life just continues. We wake up the next day, we go to our jobs, we return home and do it all again without nary batting an eye, until we are the ones suffering. It's only then that we ask, how can you just keep going? How is it that the plowman keeps on plowing his field, or the fisherman keeps on fishing, or the boat keeps on sailing. How can you keep going when I'm suffering, when I'm broken, when I'm in need? And yet, somehow, we do. It's easy to write off suffering when it's not ours. Yes, it's important to put the needs of our own flesh and blood before the needs of others, but aren't we all the same under the eyes of God? When a child suffers, that's God's child suffering. When a family is stricken with grief because of an unexpected loss, that's God's family suffering. Welcoming refugees, comforting those who are mourning, and applying all of the other works of mercy help us acknowledge that while you are not my flesh and blood, you are a child of God, and therefore, you matter. Everyone experiences suffering. There's no way around it in this life, and ignoring it will certainly not make it go away. So I ask you, how will you help to relieve someone of their suffering? It doesn't have to be something grandiose and amazing. Sometimes, the littlest things we do for someone are the greatest things. Are you up for the challenge? Incidentally, Icarus is the name of a song on Emma Blackery's debut album, which comes out two weeks from tomorrow and is available for pre-order right now. Links to the song and the album pre-order can be found in the description. I'll see you guys later.